Hi. And you? here we are at season two. Season two, episode Return one, parts of one and two. Harmony. Yeah, I enjoyed Fluttershy very much in this one. Oh, Discord. Discord is my absolute favorite villain. I'm ever. howling at the moon and sleeping in the middle of a summer afternoon. Pretty much. It's on. I figured. It was a good song. Yeah. Yeah. Anywho, I enjoyed that. I enjoyed the moment when she, when she, what do you call it, when she hip checked Pinkie Pie. Not, yeah, Pinkie Pie. It's just, it's just out of nowhere. It was great. And uh, just like her general demeanor. She's like a funny kind of old. Flutter bitch. There you go. There's Flutter Guy, Flutter Shy, and... Flutter bitch. There you go. Uh, Rainbow Dash didn't all that different. Yeah, honestly... The only difference was she was running away. Yeah, she would definitely go ahead and just straight up fight Big Bad Discord. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, her betrayal seems a little contrived. She seems more honest than Applejack, honestly. Yeah. Applejack seems a little more loyal. I mean, look at her family. Yeah. The girl can't even hold an episode on her own. Her redneck family. Applejack's just kind of there, though. She always has been. Yeah. I mean, even Rainbow Dash, she's there more, but, you know, the only episode she was really there in was the one where she was at the Academy, like, trying to win something. Which one? They were up in the clouds, Rarity had the wings, and she melted them because she's a curse. Oh, yeah, Sonic Rain Boom. Yeah, Sonic Rain Poo. Anyway, Sonic Rain Boom Boom. Anyway, back on the subject. Yes. I also enjoyed Rarity. She reminded me of what's his name? Gollum. Yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> See, Rarity is slowly becoming one of my favorites because we've seen her get her way out of a dangerous situation just being hilarious. Yes. We've seen her do a karate kung fu kick, and she named a rock Tom. I done that. <laughs> I've done it well. I named one Tom, one Roger, one Phil, one Larry, one was Harry. You just collected Brock and named him? The rest of them were Joe. Joe number one, Joe number two, Joe number three. Then I met Joe, so I couldn't name them Joe anymore. What were we talking about? Uh, Rarity. Chocolate Rain, yeah. She was, uh, she was funny in this Chocolate one. Chocolate Rain. Just that, that Everyone Tom made the joke. You was, it. You're not going to take Tom. Tom? And just, yeah. We'll never speak of this again. <laughs> so I, would, I would love her to keep so the rock. best unicorn so far? See, since Twilight's not really all there, she's starting to just fade into the background. She's just kind of the deus ex machina at this point. She's just that one person that always seems to have to be in the episode. Yeah. I would say it's Rarity, just because of those three moments. Naming a rock Tom, doing Kung Fu, and being a total friggin' rogue. <laughs> but seriously, she, she fools her way out of situations. She uses charisma to fool the dragon for a moment. And her greed... Gets the best of her, Rogue. Yeah, she just kind of turned into the antithesis of her own element after a while. I gotta tell you though, Applejack made me laugh in this random lies. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's working. Wow. Mine's not broken. Wow, I can see so much better now. <gasps> and it's just... It didn't seem so much light as much as her just being sarcastic. Which is a kind of line. Yeah, it's a kind of blind, but you can totally tell she's not a good liar. I didn't enjoy Pinkie Pie. She's supposed to be the one who's funny. Well, take away her element, laughter. Yeah. What just, are you going to get? Then she's just an emo kid. <laughs> what are you laughing at? What are you laughing at? Huh? huh. Why so serious? Huh? Fuck her egg on Pinkie Pie. Huh? And then for some reason, Applejack was something to rock. Oh, um, when... Discord and Twilight were having that exchange. Yeah. And then she had the greed too, though, because she was trying to take part of the rock. Lion comes with greed, though. No, I think it was it. just like her touching the rock and saying, I'm not touching the rock. <laughs> are we missing someone here? Uh. Twilight Sparkle was. We haven't really in. talked much about, uh, uh, about Rainbow Dash in this one. She was barely in it, though. Yeah, she just kind of left the group. Fluttershy. May I hold you down against your will? Who knew she was into bondage? Yeah, that's what 
answer the horn, right? They're holding them down and poking them with their horn. <laughs> Unicorns. Injecting memories. Injaculating the memories. Injaculating? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was... That was right. <laughs> That's all I have to say about it. That was right. So aside from that, all I have to say is I love Discord. He's awesome. Because that's exactly what we do. not talk much about Discord, yeah. Well, you know that's exactly what we're doing if I had those powers. Yeah, you were just pretty much straight up saying, they took me and put me in a dragon body. Mm -hmm. Dronoquis. Whatever. Dronoquis. Dragon. Dronoquis. It's an actual creature in myth. Look it up. Dragon. I know what it is. I'm just messing with it. <laughs> <coughs> but what else? I don't think there's much more to say. It was a good episode. Yes, it was a great episode. I enjoyed it. Because you know, well, again... Not, it's, it's a two-part so episodes, really. But yeah. still, it was great. Awesome. We have three forms of Fluttershy now. Three forms? Not to mention they got neutered at the beginning. <laughs> what would you call losing the wings? Being neutered? Because if the wings pop up in that moment... Wasn't something like that bad on a Wii? Yes. Hmm. Yeah, not to mention more horn rate and pony down MLB. Swag. Swag. Oh, if I ever say that again, throw something heavy at me. Out of context. We're saying it. Uh, we're in context. We're saying it in context. The voice and that I heard was sarcastically great. even. Oh no, my wing. No, I don't only use those to fly around. Oh great, you guys could get those back. Thanks for burying me alive, by the way. I was like, oh, go to a after having your head cut in half. That's not important. Back to the episode. <laughs> this maybe I think this is my fourth favorite so far. Stay out of my shit. Stay out of my shit. You do that way better. Oh, what was the other voice I was doing? Just a few moments ago. Uh, Chocolate rain. Oh, yeah. Some stage right and others feel the pain. Chocolate rain. I didn't know how to do that. Chocolate rain. Chocolate rain. Who do I can sing in a bass? Try and others feel the pain. Chocolate <laughs> rain. I can also do King Island. Eh. Grandma, hey, the hey, hey. Moving on, moving on. Back on to yeah, 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 yeah. the episode. <laughs> I don't think they came here to hear us horribly sing. Hey, you can speak for yourself. I sang like an angel. Uh-huh. Chocolate rain. Anyway, back on Sunday. Uh, I think my ear's bleeding. Oh, I have to say... My earwax is kind of a brownish color. Well, that's from your singing. My singing's working just fine. Yours must be broken. Uh-huh. Anyway, back on the subject. Where was I? I had, so I had a point to make, but I, I was, was going to contact you. Discord. Discord. That's basically me. I make chocolate fall from the sky. I turn the roads to soap. I just do stupid things to annoy people. I take down society eventually, but... All of the stupid things I do to annoy people. I turn your Dreamcast into a hamburger. Let's think of it at the moment. It's still there. I didn't say I did it, I said I would do it. I tried I, I tried the spell on you, but it didn't work. You're already a... Well, how did you put it? Try it on this. Oh, it turned into a soda. I'm pretty sure that was actually in the frame. That was. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Yeah, I give this episode, I put this in the top five so far. Top. Number one is still the one with the, the poison poison joke. That's still my favorite. Bridal. Really? Bridal gossip? No, well, bridal gossip's my favorite. Oh, Remind me? How is bridal gossip your favorite out of them? I don't want to talk about it. Really? Joke has a flutter? No, I was so just saying. So I'm assuming that Fluttershy is the best Pegasus. It's hard to say. Well, yeah, because I don't like I Rainbow Dash. I don't frame, actually. I'm afraid. Yeah. I don't like Rainbow Dash, so I'd have to say, she would, by default, she'd have to be, but she is one of my favorites. I was talking to a friend of mine, his favorite Fluttershy, I don't know if I want to mention names. Not because he doesn't, he, he, everybody knows he's a brony, but I don't know if you want me to mention a camera. Man, I don't really care. He's a great rapper by the name of Coleman J. Broski. Check out his, uh, his Facebook page. He's great, really. Anyway, shameless uh, promotion of a friend. Put aside. Not only shameless, that's word of mouth. Yeah. He is great though. Like, you should, we'll, we'll check I'm it out later. Rap. Yeah, well, me neither, but I watched to support him. Yeah. Actually, I'm into some really old rap, but none of them. Back on subject. Back on subject. Yeah. So, I enjoyed this one. I enjoyed Flutter Bully. Flutter or. Bully. 
Or, Clever bitch. There you go. Did you say that? I can't bring myself to use such profanity. Bullshit! Watch your language. I heard you use the C word earlier. I'm not gonna say that on camera. Cake? No, I think you're right. I think personality rather than be the closest to Pinky Pie. <laughs> I do like cheese. And fudge. So Pinky is best bunny? Yeah, for sure. For sure. She, yeah, she's like second favorite. Rarity's only number one because she's a rogue and darn good at it. Oh, what did you think of just all the visuals that were happening during this? It looks like my head. Inside of my head. Inside of your head? Even with Big Mac digging? That was great! <laughs> that was great! He turned into a diamond dog. He turned into a diamond dog? He wasn't really hoarding gems, though. Say, so, can I steal one of your unicorns there? One of these? Yes. Thank you. Mine! You get it? Yes. Anybody? The master gives a orange colored, I think. Oh, mine oh, would be no, brown. Who does it burn at? I'm colored, so that just looks like red to me. It, it looks orange to me, and I'm blind too. Damn, yeah, we're fucked. All the colors in this show appear perfectly. Uh, yeah, I think it's because of the fact that they have such a broad bit of uh, hue. Mm hmm. Because they don't look because that flash animation that doesn't take much yeah. to animate in that. But Those of you kids they watch this. Greatly. If any kids watch this, don't smoke and don't swear. There, we did our we did our duty. Duty. <laughs> yeah, cause kids watch this show. I'm pretty the more sure adults that, do. I'm pretty sure that this show eventually teaches the moral of don't set smoke. an example. Actions, not words. Yes. Damn. So yeah, we're kind of counteractive. Counterproductive. Counterintuitive. That's the word. Yes. I'm worse with words than you. I, I just said K instead of something earlier. I don't care. I said instead of care. Anyway, let's get back on subject again. Well, I did just say a, the C word. Yeah. The C word. Anyone who actually knows it knows what I said. Never use that word, you'll get hit. I'm not kidding, it's happened to me. Oh, I almost got hit. I almost got kicked out of my mom's house like two weeks before I moved into this place. Mm-hmm. You know what's another bad word? Plot holes. Plot holes. Get it? Hey. Plot. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use that for now. I'm gonna call them plot holes. I don't like them. They'll never, they'll never understand what I'm saying. They might think something else. See, it combines two things. Horses and hole. As I know. Uh-huh. But don't be a plot hole. What a plot hole is. Holes in the plot? Yes, so people might just think, oh, you don't even exist again. So I'll say, that's actually, I'm also that's actually that's just, that's just as great, I'm going to use that in myself. Yes. Well, you're a plot hole. Not only are you a horse's bum, but you don't exist. Thank you, goodbye. <laughs> what? You heard me. But, anyway, <laughs> back on the, on the road of subject here. Yes. Discord, I hope he comes back Bye, again. GR. Conversations are just as chaotic as the actual episode. I'd like to see all the villains get together at one point. That would be brilliant. But how would Lord back into Dark Horse or whatever Lord it was? Moon? Yeah. Oh, Discord would do it. Bad horse, bad horse, bad horse, bad horse. Are you saying horse or horse? Horse. Oh. You've never seen Dr. Horrible say blah blah? Yes! Yes, I have. It's been a while though. Uh, have you seen Little Shop of Horror? Of course I have. Have you seen the Rocky Horror Picture Show? Duh. I'm just a sweet transvestite trans from transsexual Transylvania. A lot to me. The curry is like I'm not sure if I do that as well or not. not I've bad. heard people say that I do that Tam curry. way too well that it's a little scary. When you see me on TV, the camera may add a few pounds. So until you recognize me, I'll do this with my hands. <laughs> I made the fatal. Uh, you won't see it on camera. But yeah, that kind of something that is Tim Curry ever the show? If he ever does come on the show, I will poop my pants. Yeah. We'll both poop our pants. <laughs> totally.
<laughs> he bugged me by the bathroom. I can't get there now, it's already in the mess! It's in my room! It's my bathroom! My apartment! My rules! Okay, I'll just go use the sink. Go ahead. Just need some chunk of rinse it. Can't bleach it. It's in the linen closet. Hmm. So anyway, <laughs> back to the subject we are on. I may have had a few drinks before I came here, but I'm good. Did you? No. I wish. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. I was about to say, and you didn't fucking share. Yeah, I didn't have enough money to buy alcohol this week. I know I said I would, I'm sorry. Oh, my birthday coming up on the 17th. We so should do a drinking game. Tune in for those episodes. We don't know when we on. The My Little Pony Drinking Tame. I don't know. I might just wind up going to, like, signing on Twitch and just having a live stream of an entire party here. And My Little Pony? Whatever the hell happens. I want to play the My Little Pony <laughs> Drinking Game. Well, here's what it's going to look like. Before? Okay, we're going to play the My Little Pony Drinking Game. At the end of this, we're going to share our reactions. Matt? <laughs> and you fall. <laughs> Light. Light. <laughs> Man, it takes quite a bit for alcohol to hit. Oh, me too. Like I'm more likely to puke than pass out. Uh, I don't even care. Out. I drank. Uh, well, keep I in mind, mind I only weighed two hundred twenty-five pounds, not even. Put it on a whole stomach. I went through a twelve pack once within an hour. I wasn't even. I was. Bust. That's it. Yeah, my mom does that, like, on a bi-weekly basis. Twilight Sparkle's parents drink. See, Celestia said that they were just that she wanted to train her. The truth is, her parents were sick. That's why she's so sarcastic. You know she's not a tree, right? But her parents were! I think they were uh, one of them actually what? practiced. They were potted plants. I know why she got so angry about the tree comment! Because they're proud of the trees and he says so about it! Uh, sure, let's go with that. Fudge bro! Anyway. Anyways. See! My mind, Dragon Ball, Draconicus 5. Yes. Because your parents were trees. And your mother smelled of elderberries. I butchered that. You totally did. Your father was a tree and your mother smelled of cactus berries. Cactus berries? <laughs> Cactus berries are a thing in my mind. Oh, cactus berries. I thought you said berries. Oh, cactus berries. You don't, you don't want that. cactus berries. Let's stick one of those little prickles right... No, I'm not going to say where, but let's just say it's a very sensitive area. Your eyeball, ear. Don't say eyeball. <laughs> <laughs> you put the image in your head. I got, you know I have my eyeballs. Don't put your eyeballs around me. Yes, you read them. Never read the Battle Royale manga, though. Oh, I don't intend to. And I, I, I watched Gantz, and I almost vomited when the kid's eyes exploded. That's why I can't watch Aqua. That's why I can't. I can watch that one that episode. much? Yeah. His eyes just exploded. Oh. I don't know. I'm terrified of going blind, too, I so. kind of have that fascination with the inner workings of the eye. Maybe because of the fact that I have a cornea. I know for a fact mine's weird in its own way. I'm, uh... I'm, I'm, I'm actually farsighted. I'm near That's sighted. a very rare thing. I found that. I'm not uh, sure if it's rare, but it's. Well, do you see things that are closer uh, or further uh, away? I see things better further away. And you're far sighted. I always got them mixed up. I don't know how. But anyway, I'm near sighted in this eye and far sighted in this eye. That's why my glasses were so weird. You ever put them on? I never even seen your glasses. I didn't even know you wore glasses until well, you. Well, I don't now. I broke them. Why don't you like go to lens crafters? Good idea. I'm just getting, I'm thinking about getting a laser surgery. And they uh, go to Walmart. That's where I went for them, and they weren't the right description. Really? They're still not strong enough for me. Wait. Freaking Walmart. Well, do you get an eye exam? There? They sell my little giraffes at Walmart. Do you get an eye exam there, or do you just buy that? You do everything there. It's I would honestly say go to lens crafters for. Let's get back on the subject of yeah. the show. Yes. Yes, I don't think you need to hear about our vision problem. Yeah. Where do ponies go for glasses? That's the random question of the video. <laughs> where do ponies go for glasses? Okay. Where do ponies go for glasses? That's actually... I'm pretty sure that they actually have their own, like... 
But I'm asking, As what would the place be crafters? What would the place be called? I honestly can't think of anything else besides Lens Crafters, or maybe Lens Crafter is the name of the guy who's a run place. Lens Hoof. Lens. Lenny. Lenny's Craft. Lenny's Crafter? Len. Nah, this they is gonna go on the They have straightforward names, you know. Hoity toity. Hoity toity. Oh, those glasses are dreadful, Rarity. Prince I'm going to kill myself! Prince Blue Blood. Plays Prince Blue Balls more like. Flutter Guy. <laughs> Flutter Guy. I don't want to talk about it. Uh, that's not going to be the last of those strange ultimate Fluttershies we're going to see either. I like Fluttershy. Come on! Yes, I'm, not me. I'm pretty sure that ponies have their own like lens crafters or hell, even if there is someone living in Canterlot named Lens Crafter. Well the only ones I've seen the only one I've seen wear glasses so far is Rarity. And only in that one Don't moment. Twist. twist? The uh You told me not to forget and I already have. Yes, uh Cutie Mark Crusaders. Oh very first episode. Oh yeah! Cutie. The, one the other blank blank that just got a cutie mark that episode. <laughs> that was funny. Take that, Apple Bloom. I hate you. I feel bad for saying that. <laughs> no, I don't. Do you expect she's a hormonal preteen? Pretty much. Okay, here's the random question. How old do you think the main six are? We went over this before, but yeah. I won't go over it again. They have to be at least in their early 20s, because... Or at least, at, at yeah. least in the maturity age. Because Rarity owns her own shop. Rarity owns her own shop. I'm just curious as to what's the age when ponies should, like, be out on their own, be independent. Because if you look at it, Twilight's a college student, mm -hmm. at least. I mean, she's been taught under Celestia since she was a filly. Is that a fortune in there? Fortune? Or a cookie? No, that's a popsicle stick. Actually, that's uh, popsicle part of the stick. Envelope. That's part of the envelope for my paycheck. That's even better. I can always do the stare again. Yeah, I actually get paid on my birthday. I get paid the Wednesday before your birthday. No. You get paid on Wednesdays. Wednesday after. Well, I get paid on Thursday, but I get my direct pocket. Anyway, ability. back on subject. So I'm gonna show on TV. At least in a maturity wise, they'd be around like. Our age, early to mid twenties, somewhere around there. I would say, well, the young, the three young ones, they seem younger, but with the with the little things they're hitting at, I would put them around fourteen. Around fourteen. Just with the so, things, the maturity thing. So they're you'd at. say that Spike is the same maturity age as them. Well, Spike, I'm guessing is. Because let's not forget, equines do grow up faster. Than yes. Them. Well, dragons live to be four or five hundred years old, so Spike is maybe a baby, but he's probably he's a, he he was just hatched when Twilight was built. True. So by all means, he is like fifteen. He's practically fetal stage if you would think of the timeline of dragons. Yeah, but their lifespan is different. Like they they learn to speak in like their first year. Yeah, they actually touch into like some growth of dragons in this too. I'm speaking by D and D standards. At D and D standards, like Smile there, who I'm not checks. sure how much into D and D the writers went with it. They they have they have they to have, to play D &D. they clearly have some awareness of geek culture. They have to at this point. Yeah, I mean they got Q. Yeah, they got John Lance. To play literally cute. He drank a glass of chocolate milk. Literally. He drank the glass and threw the chocolate milk, which no. then exploded behind him. Now, don't you think if I could do that, exactly what I would do? <laughs> like, dead on perfect? Yeah. You would, if you had the powers of warp reality like that, I'd see you doing stuff like this. I would turn your walls into cheese. Nah, you'd just make the entire world look to you. Backdrops, cardboard backdrops. <laughs> Have someone sneeze and knock it over. <laughs> oh, you're not. Sorry about that. That was not appropriate. But overall, I liked this episode very much. It was funny. I enjoyed Discord quite yes. quite a bit. Discord was awesome. How long has this one been going for? 
one has been going for 26 minutes. I think we should cut it off. Yeah, probably a good idea. Probably should have cut it off. Let's see in the next one. Lesson zero. Very much sorry for the whole pop again.